Hey lovelies, it's Lent, day four. It's also a day, it's like the first time I'm excited in a bit because I get to go, um, I get to go ice fishing today because my wonderful outdoorsy brother-in-law has set up these little COVID safe tents. So we get to like drive to where a road ends and then drive on the ice for a long time. And anyway, if I make it back alive, I'll let you all know. Um, but. It's fun to have something to look forward to in a sea of endless sameness. Uh, but yeah, we have to leave before dawn, so it's going to be a whole thing. Uh, today in Lent, I'm just thinking a lot about um, how Lent... So like Lent is two things, right? Lent is, of course, like it's a story about Jesus. It's a story about how God is entirely not like us. And it also gets to be a story about us in which when... God took on flesh and bones, it also showed us what it was like to be us, <laughs> to be scared or tired or overwhelmed. And so the story of Lent is also a story about like becoming. And um, it just made me think of, uh, I like to think of sort of the, the gospel of the Velveteen Rabbit. Velveteen Rabbit is one of my very favorite stories um, because it it's it's a story about it's if you haven't read it is like the sweetest most beautiful thing but it's this little it's like a little stuffed um bunny who is like um brand new and then is sort of loved to tatters and then is no longer new and shiny anymore and is sort of wondering what it's like to be that to be to be ragged to be no longer new and I think we all know that feeling like like that maybe there was a shiny version of us that existed somewhere and we see it maybe in pictures and we have this little pang like that's not me and sometimes I have to say like I truly truly despise social media sometimes because I feel like there's a there's like a lie inherent in this I felt it every time with cancer drugs that I kept my hair that like people can't really know the part of you that is inside out. Like they just like, whatever this is, whatever this is, it lies. You know what I mean? So the story of the Velveteen Rabbit, I love because there's this little bit in there about what it feels like. Oh my gosh, I think that's my son waking up. <laughs> and so it begins. But it's the story of becoming something else. And um, Okay, I have it here. I wanted to read it. So the rabbit, it's by Marjorie Williams. The rabbit is talking to this little horse. And the horse says, um, like asking what it feels like to be loved. And, um, and the horse says, well, when a child loves you for a long, long time, not just to play with, but really loves you, then you become real. Does it hurt? Asked the rabbit. Sometimes, said the horse, for he was always truthful. When you are real, you don't really mind being hurt. And eventually the velveteen rabbit, of course we mind being hurt, but like there is some love that there's some love that only can happen when like everything is on the line. And then eventually the velveteen rabbit says um, about being loved into being shabby it says well these things don't matter at all because once you are real you can't be ugly except to people who don't understand and like that is what lent is in this moment to me is like it's the, it's the hope that we might become and in a culture that gets confused about what is beautiful and what is not that we can know that we are in the process of becoming real and if we are real we can never be ugly except to people who don't understand. So, may you not despise your realness today. May you not think that the shiny version was the better you. We are becoming. I hope so. Okay, I'll let you know how ice fishing goes. I'm like really excited about it. <laughs>